she's sleeping with her husband's driver. No lie, my last son belongs to my husband's driver. That's why I keep telling him, I don't marry any woman that is not working. And I don't mind, it's the devil's workshop. What will you say this man did to you now? He gave you a good life, and all you could pay him back is to be sleeping with the driver. So if the driver did not jilt you, you would have just woke up one day, left your marriage because of a 27-year-old gigolo. Any man that sleeps with another man's wife carries a curse, carries a burden. We the single ones are now the faithful ones. The married ones are the ones that are not faithful. I'm talking from full especially in this Lagos that we are in right now. Don't ever think that you being faithful is for a man, or you being faithful is for a woman. No, it is a discipline that you inculcate in your yourself even before marriage so anybody that is telling you I, I used to be a bad girl but i changed for you that one i lie you make you see opportunity hi guys welcome to moment with blessings to you i'm a bit under the weather today so my voice is going to be a bit cranky but i'm going to scream as much as possible for you guys to hear me if you're not sitting in front of your television now do that now. It's channel 189 DSTV only on Pop Central. Moments with Blessing CEO. If you're new on the show, what we do practically is that we talk about everything that happens behind closed doors, both relationships, sex, and marriage. Those things that are breaking our homes that people are not bold enough to talk about. That's what we talk about on the show to see if we can get the better part of marriage because these days, Marriage is becoming a sham. So the problem is, what is the problem? So this show gives us like a touch light to know where this problem is coming from, how to solve it. Because you need to actually know a problem before you can solve it. So we're going to start from a story. We always have people who get to send us stories. All the time we have different stories. So I'm going to read this story from a very beautiful woman. And um, I want you to pay attention because as women, we need to pay so much importance to what we do. I'll quickly read up the story. Um, a young lady sent to us, I am sleeping with my husband's driver who happens to be 27 years old. She's sleeping with her husband's driver who happens to be 27 years old. That means the driver is 27 years old. We love each other so much, and the sex is too good. No lie, my last son belongs to my husband's driver. And we have been saving money to travel out. But bless and see you, I got the shocker of my life. I was ready to let go of a good man, a good marriage. I lacked nothing. I don't even walk. My husband does everything. The idiot that is in my... She said, the idiot that is my husband's driver said he was quitting the job, not knowing that he was going to get married to one small girl in my estate that I used to send errands once in a while. Hmm. It was a shock to me when this man called a driver, walked up to me, and said to me that he wanted to go build a home. I was shocked because we had plans. My last son is his child, and I'm even pregnant again. Hmm. Maybe that's why I'm having mood swing. I'm even pregnant again, but I would like to abort this one. I know I messed up big time. I know I messed up, but please don't kill me. I just need direction. What do I do? How do I resolve this and make it go away? I am still in love with my husband's driver, even though my husband brought a new driver, but I am still in love with the first one. Please, how do I handle this? What makes, what makes a man do DNA? Because the one... I am carrying in my womb now. I will abort it. Please help me. I have been for, she said, I have been for therapy in your office twice. If you remember me, I need help. My husband must not find out. Don't crucify me. I think it's actually a very long buhaha. I'm quickly going to summarize the story. A married woman is sleeping with her husband's driver. 
And she is telling us that her last child belongs to the driver. Now, she is saying that the driver has jilted her for a younger girl that she sent on an errand in the estate to marry her and build a life. Initially, while she was sleeping with this driver, they had plans to travel out, like, you know, Romeo and Juliet, to run away with their love. Before the driver found love in the roadside gate that they are sending message, and now came and told her that he wants to build a family. So at this point, the woman is even saying that she's pregnant. But she has said she's going to sort that out by taking off the pregnancy by aborting it. But she's asking us not to crucify her, that she already knows that what she did is wrong. Just like the song of, of course I fucked up. Whoever for fuck up has in the ear. Uh. So she's trying to say she knows that she has fucked up. We should not crucify her that she needs direction on how to go about it. Before we open up the phone lines, as a certified relationship therapist, I'm going to give you my professional advice. And the professional advice is this. There is what is called waywardness. You know the way we are addicted to smoking, drinking, food, party? Waywardness is an addiction whereby you are not content with what you have. There is so much power in contentment. In fact, when you meet people who are content, hold them very tight. So for you, this lady, to tell me that your husband provides everything for you, you are not working, and you decided to start sleeping with the driver. And that's why I keep telling him, I don't marry any woman that is not working. And I don't mind it's the devil's workshop. That's the truth. What will you say this man did to you now? He gave you a good life, and all you could pay him back is to be sleeping with the driver. You have, so if the driver did not jilt you, you would have just woke up one day, left your marriage because of a 27-year-old gigolo. Any man that sleeps with another woman's, except you do not know, any man that sleeps with another man's wife carries a cost, carries a burden. This one is not about superstitious belief. It's not that. It's except you are not aware. But if you are aware and you are sleeping with another man's wife, it will never be well with you. So for that driver to be sleeping with you, he had an ulterior motive. Maybe he wanted to grab what he wanted to grab from you and run away. You now, you went to go and fall in love. I shall vibes, as wayward as you are. Instead of it to knock and go, you knock and bump it in. Knock again and carry another belly. They are not asking us, what should you do? If you are to be in your husband's shoes, what are you going to do? It's going to be devastating. It's going to be heartbroken. And I'm very sure that women like you are all this kind of women that used to do a mad jova. That woman be shouting, praise the Lord. Now, now. Because I don't understand. What was the attraction to the driver? Was he younger? Did he give you more attention? What was that thing that the driver was doing for you that your husband could not do for you? There's something I need women to understand. Sometimes a lot of women say, my husband does not give me attention. And he actually makes me laugh. Your husband does not give you attention and you want him to be a billionaire. Billionaires don't sit in the house. It is only fuck boys that sit in the house and sleep with you morning, afternoon, and night. Men who are hustlers are barely at home. When you are outside the country and you've traveled out of this country, people work five to six jobs. They don't have time to come and start sleeping around. It's even in Nigeria that you people have time to be sleeping. Outside the country, you will walk. There is nothing like nanny. These things are expensive. There you will go, you will take your kids to school, you will do the work. So what time do you have to go and be sleeping, 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 sleeping up and down? To the extent that you committed this fornication and be adultery, and you had a child, and you, you've, you've hung this child on this man's neck. And you're not asking me what to make a man to go and do DNA. How am I supposed to know? How are we sure that your husband is not even watching this program? Right? I mean, he's looking at you by the side. Because these days, women, you guys are, you ladies, is it, a, is it a, what's happening? It's as if the women are becoming more wayward. 
than the men because there are some stories I hear and I, I don't like it. It's the audacity. It's the fact. I want to ask a lot of women something. Why is that even when you want to cheat on your husband, let's assume you're married to a wealthy man. Why do you go to the lower guys? Like, let's assume you're, you're married to a senator. Even if you want to cheat, cheat with president. Why do you now go to houseboy, house girl, chef, driver? Why? Why do you reduce yourself? Because that thing kills a man's ego. If your husband have an idea that you're sleeping with his, his driver, I don't know if he will come out of that shock. And it is women like you that make men very wicked. When they come and encounter with women like you, they will now come and start showing us Shege Banza. We that did not do them anything. That's the truth. It is man that makes man wicked. There are some experiences that we've had in our past that we are bleeding on innocent people. Imagine if this man gets to find out this. What how do you think he's going to treat women? This is where trauma comes from. You will see a man and you will think he's a beast. You don't know where he's coming from. The trauma he has felt, the love that he has given, what women or what men have done to any of them. This is the reason why we don't have, all of us are saying we don't have good men. They are good men, but they are traumatized. A lot of men will say when you show a woman love, it looks as if you are weak. It is that crazy that a lot of men don't want to show women love because they feel that love is a weakness. Once a man starts showing you love, you start thinking he's a mumu. So a lot of men suppress their emotions. It's because of women like you. For me, the advice I'm going to give you is... <laughs> off record. Mm, let that child remain your... Husband, child, for the one that you say that you want to remove, I did not tell you to remove it all. That one is entirely your choice. But for me, I don't think it's something I would want your husband to know. Since this driver has decided to move on with his life, then cut all the ties and focus on your family. I don't believe every child is a child because these days people go out there and adopt children. So long as this child came from your womb, in as much as your husband might be deceived to know, you know, paternity, but there are some things that are better left unsaid. I don't think you would sit your husband down and tell him that you've been sleeping with his driver and he's going to take it lightly with you. And this is what makes a lot of men commit murder. You go just to sleep, man, go just use knife, stab you. We have a lot of them in prison. Women, how did we get this deep in wickedness? But if it's men now, you will rush and come, 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 come on social media and be making animal noise. But look at, the, look at the trauma. Men will even cheat and come back home. Your own, you will cheat, carry belly and bump picking and carry another one. Ah, ah, madam, are you a womb bearer? If your womb is that fertile now, be doing surrogacy now. Because there's some people that cannot bear children. For me, I'm just going to say, just keep your mouth shut. Let the guy go. Focus on your home. You have already said it in the message. You have a good man. Why is it that good men used to go to stupid women, really? Then good women used to go to stupid men. Why is he always like that? Eh? Your husband gives you everything. You are not working. You are comfortable. And you are sleeping with his driver. No, did you be that? Now, swell. At this point, like you say, we should not judge you. Well, I, mean, I will judge you. Even God said, we judge you. And the callers will also judge you because we want to know what made what you saw. In fact, I am curious to know what you saw in that young boy. Is it Ebola? Is it sex? Let me ask a question before we start to take call. Is one minute or five minutes sex enough for you to ruin a relationship you have built for years? It's so easy to pull down a building, but it's very difficult to raise a building. You mean you cannot comport yourself for five, six minutes? Just that sex, use it to ruin the best part of your life. Just because you want to come. After coming, where do you go to? Nowhere. So when we are making these decisions, we need to be very, very... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
So when we are making these decisions, we need to be very, very careful because it boomerang when we are doing all the stuffs, especially when we have good things around us. You know, sometimes when we pray, it looks as if our prayers are not being answered. Most times it's because of the kind of life that we have lived, the waywardness that we have showed that makes life very terrible for us. So if you're watching and you're that beautiful woman, I would say since the man have decided to move on with his life, which is your husband's driver, I would just say you pray to God, ask for forgiveness, focus you on your family, and give your family the best. Dedicate yourself to your family. Life is not all about sex. And you need to be careful with all these small young boys. They are gigolos. They don't have anything to offer. That's the truth. A lot of them just want to get into rich homes, rich men's wives, the same thing to sleep with them, find money, travel out. They will not marry you. They don't love you. There is no sensible man that wants to go and marry another man's wife when you are not divorced. So I'm going to say, sort out your home. For me, I don't think it's something you need to discuss with your husband because if your husband gets to hear this, even if I am your husband, I would divorce you because I don't think the mental trauma would be enough for him to bear. And you know one crazy thing about marriage? Once trust is broken, hmm, there's no more marriage. You guys will just start cohabiting. Once your husband calls you and you tell him, baby, I am in Lekki, and he no longer believes you are in Lekki, he tells you, switch it to a video call. Know that the relationship has started dying. Where your words no longer hold value, where your husband or your wife no longer believe what you see, that is where marriage begins to die. And when you tell your husband this kind of stories, trust me, the marriage is over. No matter how you cry for him to forgive you, and even if he forgives you and the old moon now come, the marriage will never remain the same. So feel free to call the number right on your screen if you want to contribute to the story. It's actually very traumatizing these days that women are the ones that are actually doing the waywardness. Is it that you guys learn the waywardness from men? Because I don't understand it. What is the connection with your driver, your husband's driver? How did this start? No respect, no regard. What brought about that? Did he drive you? And you, I don't understand. How did he? You know, most times when they send you the story, sometimes they don't give you the details because I would have liked to know how, how the sex started with your driver. Did he meet you in the bathroom like Nigerian movie and your toe fell on the ground? Let me understand. So feel free to call the number right in your screen if you want to contribute. Hello? Hello. Hello, good evening. I think we lost the caller. Please, when you're calling, try to turn down the volume of your television so that I can hear you. If you don't turn down the volume of your television, your voice will be echoing. Feel free to call the number right on your screen if you want to contribute to this topic. What do you think the woman should do? For me, I said the woman should keep short. She should keep short and focus on her marriage. For me, I don't know if any other person would have any other opinion. Feel free to call the number right on your screen and then um, contribute to the topic. Oh God, this shit you guys are doing is distracting me, I swear to God. We have a caller. Hello. 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 Good evening, sir. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Please, can you be audible? Can we raise the volume, please? Okay. Sir, what the woman said. What? Good evening. Good evening, ma. Can we raise the volume from here, please? Hello? I'm yelling you now. Go ahead, sir. My name is Victor. Okay, so where are you calling from? I'm calling from uh, Area 1. Okay. Okay. What Go the ahead. woman did, what the woman did is not very. I'm calling from uh, Area 1. My name okay. is Victor. Okay, sir. Go ahead. What the woman did is, is very bad. It's no good. 
a very, very bad news. It's not, it's not too good. She already that knows. The woman is not loving the man. That, that, let the man, let the man just know what he's going to do. Okay, sir. We will call no, the no, man no, and tell The woman is not loving it. You cannot sleep with the driver. When you sleep with the driver, it's very long. Let it, let it move. Thank you so much, sir. We lost the caller, but he's saying what the woman did is very wrong. The fact is, she has accepted that what she did is wrong. Not like she's claiming right, but she's saying what's the way forward. How can she rebuild this trust, you know, this betrayal? How can she go back to her husband? Because this driver is someone she has been attached to for a while. We have a caller. Hello. You know, Hello. Hello. Okay, I think we lost that caller. Please, when you call, turn down the volume of your television so that we can hear you. We are still talking about a woman who was sleeping or who is sleeping with her husband's driver and um, her last son. Hello. 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 Good evening, sir. What's your name and where are you calling from? I'm calling from Bias, and my name is Bright. Okay, sir. So you want to contribute to the show? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Go ahead, sir. I can hear you. What do you say? I can hear you loud and clear. Go ahead. I was thinking it's a live streaming. I can't hear my a program. Sir, do you want to contribute to the show? We are streaming yes. live. Yes, I go ahead. To, I can I hear want, you. Okay, what I want to say is that yes, all right. What I want to say is that the, the lady has really defied her marriage in the first place. The husband has lost, you know, his um, impetus as a husband already because we're talking about a driver here. I don't know whatever was the turn on for her that made her just, you know, decide to break her home by doing this. And now to talk about having, a, a, you know, a, a pregnancy involved. You see, it's disastrous already. So what I'm, I'm going to suggest is that she should come clear and, 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 and confess it. They, they, they either have to move on, they'll deal with it and move on, or, you know, whatever they decide to do afterwards. But I want to suggest that she comes clean. God will forgive her. The husband might equally forgive her. Relatives might be involved in this whole issue. Uh, maybe they might still move on, but for me, it's not a good idea at all. For whatever reason it could be, it's not a good idea. That's my contribution. Thank, Thank you very much, sir, for calling. I think I love the caller. He said um, the woman should confess to her husband. Now, let me tell you something as a woman. Don't confess to anybody. The only person you need to confess to is Jesus Christ. All things are passed away and everything has become new. You don't confess to man, you confess to God. The day you open your mouth to tell your husband that you're sleeping with his driver and it did not just end there. His son, a boy that he has taken as his child, you did not just sleep with his driver. You conceived for his driver and lied to him. Do you people even understand the meaning of betrayal? You know, some people just hear English, you don't understand. You know, Ibo, betrayer is when somebody stabs you in the neck. The difference is that you don't bleed physically, but you die inside. One thing that kills the most is emotional trauma. Because you know why it kills faster? People don't even know how you feel. There are some times that you are emotionally imbalanced and you cannot even explain it. People will be laughing. You'll be going through. The, they don't understand. And I even say this one, they laugh. Your husband will be in shock. Some men can slum and die because you don't know the gravity of trust. For me, 
sharing this news with this man is killing the man. There are some things that are better left unsaid. Even Simi sang, lie to me. If the truth will break my heart, oh, lie, lie. Eh? You see, say, Bob Risky, go this thing. He talk true. The other one go. He, uh, lie. There are some places that lie will help you. Lie. It is not everything you say. There are some things that are better left unsaid. That's why God gave you a heart. To be able to keep some certain things within yourself. The first thing you need to do is forgive yourself. Accept that you're wrong. Because the first rule to repentance is acceptance. I don't fuck up. And you've said it in the message that we should, you know you've messed up. You want to move ahead. Go ahead to go and start telling your husband. Like, well, how will you even keep your mouth and be telling him? He will now ask you, sweetheart, how many times did you do it? You did it in the car, in my mouth. No, 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 no. Please don't kill that man. If you give this man the story, I don't think he's going to survive it. Trust me. So if you're the woman, please keep short. Some things are better left unsaid. If you feel you want to confess, you go to your reverend father and go and confess, or you go to your pastor and go and confess. But there are some things that are better left unsaid. Okay? So the number is still right on your screen. If you want to call and contribute, we're talking about a married woman who is sleeping with her husband's driver. And even has a son for the husband's driver. She's even pregnant again. Hello, we have a caller. Hello. Hello. Okay, I think we lost that caller. Please, when you call, try to turn down the volume of your television. Do we have another caller? Hello. 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 Good evening, ma'am. Hi. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. How are you doing? What's your name and where are you calling from? Good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Okay, ma'am. Streaming. My name is Sebo. I'm coming from Abuja. Okay. You want to contribute to the show? My name is Sebo. I'm coming from Abuja. You want to contribute to the show? Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Okay, I think we lost that caller. Please, if you're calling, turn down the volume of your television so that I can hear you. We are still talking about the woman who was sleeping with her husband driver, had a child for him, and still pregnant for him. She's already guilty. She said we should not judge her. We are looking for the way forward. A young man called and said she should confess to her husband. As for me, confession is a no-no. Because there are actually some sins that are unforgivable. We're going to go on a break and we're going to come back very soon and continue this conversation. I went out to show you guys that I'm wearing reclined clothing. I know you love my outfits. It's um, the outfit from Wunye Odogus. You can see I'm looking like an Odogus, you know, wife. <laughs> 
So, it's the Unreclined Clothings. Looking beautiful and sexy. We are back to the traumatic story. I have to dance. Let me see if I can do some a bit of shika. You understand? I'll show you guys my beautiful dress. So, we are still back to that woman. Hello? We have not left you. In case you're just sitting in front of your television, or you're just tuning into the channel, I'm gonna give you a recap. We have, we have a caller. Hello. Hello, good evening, mom. Yes, good evening, mom. How are you doing? What's your name and where are you Very calling from? Very fine, thank you. Um, you... I, I'm calling from Abuja. Okay, mom, you wanna to contribute to the show? Yes, um, yes, I listened to it. I just joined not long ago. Okay. But uh, it's a pathetic story, actually. Okay. Hello? I can hear you. Do you have anything you want to contribute to the show? I can hear you. Yes, now. yes, Go ahead. yes. I can hear you. Go ahead. Actually, I'll just, I'll just um, advise the woman that she should just plead, she should pray for God, like she should pray to God for mercy because what she has done is not something that she will go and confront the husband and tell him anything that man will just die thank so you. i would just suggest thank you that she whenever she whenever she's whatever she's doing she should just be praying god have mercy on me god have mercy on me god have it's only god that can have mercy on her Honestly, because God, no, 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 the God bless you, one. my darling. She just prayed to God for mercy continuously, like all her life, as far as she can breathe. She should just pray to God for mercy and let God just have his way. All right. Thank you so much, beautiful. God yes. bless you. Thank you. I love this caller because she was calm and she was understanding. Like I said, if you commit an atrocity, alo simply means when you commit an abomination, things that are abominable, things like you sleep with your pekin, you know all those abominable acts, you will first of all forgive yourself because this guilt comes from you. Why do people say pray to God? It's for that guilt. If you don't forgive yourself, you would forever live in regret. That's the truth. So the essence of prayer sometimes is to express ourselves. I would have said tell your husband, but you heard what this caller said. That man can slump and die. It is not every information that a lot of men can hold. Because this one, even me that is talking... If I were to be your sister in law, I would have come to hijack you by now and I'll arrest you, put you inside prison. So I feel there are some things that are better left unsaid. And in this story, I am so happy that the man decided to leave. Maybe that was a liberation, that was God speaking wonders. You understand? So it's time, since the guy has left, it's time for you to now put your life together. Focus on your marriage. If you are that less busy, because an idle man is a devil's workshop, so that you'll not be looking for places to go and be putting your pickles. Find work. Even if they're online working, they, they sell something, they cook, they do chef. I think it's lack of not doing anything that is making you looking for a driver to be sleeping with. You're not even ashamed of yourself. Driver. So find work. As you are begging, begging for forgiveness, you're looking for work. That is my own. So feel free to call the number on the screen if you want to contribute to the adulteress, the woman who committed adultery. She slept with her husband's driver and has a son for the husband's driver. And she's still pregnant for the husband's driver. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? What's your name and where are you calling from? I'm fine. You want to contribute to the show? Go ahead. Good evening. My name, my name is Shu. I'm okay. calling from the house. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, ma'am. My contribution is um, I agree with you by she should not tell the husband about it. She should not confess to the husband. 
But ma, I want to ask, what if she from a place, maybe the man is from a place that such things, maybe they forbid such things. What if the man continues sleeping with her, eating her food, and eventually die? Or maybe one of the children die because of her actions. How is she going to live knowing fully well that the husband died out of what she has done? That's what I want to know. Um, for me, such cultures, I don't believe that they exist. I, I hear that in some places they have that culture whereby if you cheat, I've never seen, I've never heard civilization has come to play and all those things are not in existence. To me, everything you do, I always tell people, do unto others what you want others to do unto you. This thing where you they do person, if they do you, you go fit they can. I used to tell people, what you give people and they give it back to you and you cannot collect it, it simply means that it is poison. So at this point, the mistake has already been made. We cannot unsex them, we cannot unsleep them, and we cannot unborn the child, and we cannot kill the child. The mistake has been made. The question is, what is the way forward? And the way forward for me is for her to forgive herself, go to church, read the Bible, and focus on her family, give the best to her children. When it comes to paternity, I'm so happy that the man left. But there is something that is coming to my head. Gigolos like that barely leave. When that man sees that you've moved on, he will come back and start blackmailing you. That's one thing with all these young gigolos. So the woman, you have to start tighten your seatbelt. Yes, because I think the young guy has grabbed all he wants to grab from you. That's the reason why he decided to elope with this small girl. By the time he gets broke and he doesn't see money again, the next person he comes back is to you and start blackmailing you. And that's the reason why I always tell a lot of married women, we can save ourselves all the shame and all this disgrace. If marriage is not working, talk about it. Look for people your husband respects, people your wife respects. Talk to them. And for us to be messing up in marriage, do it outside marriage. Marriage is a sacred place. It's a, it's a beautiful place. You guys are messing it up. It's not looking as if the single people are more decent than the married ones. Because we singles, we come back, we eat, and go and lie on our bed, press our phone, and sleep. You married ones are busy jumping from driver to fokonizer, from fokonizer to banabita. Ah! Kidding me, Is it not married people say they want to marry you? Are ready to settle down? We, the single ones, are now the faithful ones. The married ones are the ones that are not faithful. I'm talking from full especially in this Lagos that we are in right now. The amount of unfaithful married men, eh? They feel rich one thousand. They feel rich one. I beg you. They don't know come home me for them. They plenty, yo. But you know they find outside. We are outside. We are outside. Mosquito know they outside. Go inside. Why did you marry in the first place when you know that you still have a bit of shaker? You want to be sleeping up and now you do you. You know, don't just mess up that sacred, beautiful, you know, part of marriage. For me, it's, it's a no. I'd rather be single and do what I want to do than to be married. And there's something I want to say before we take the next caller. You see this thing called fidelity. I've said it before. Fidelity is not marriage. Fidelity is what you inculcate in yourself. I use myself as an example, and I say it very boldly. I'm a woman that goes to work every day. From work, I go straight to my bed, press my phone, do my job, go to my... Like I have a routine. Now, when a man comes into my life, I am not doing it because I am faithful to the man. It is part of me. You first of all need to be faithful to yourself. It has nothing to do with the next person. Because when you are faithful, you are focused. The reason why a lot of you especially women, have not been able to achieve so much in your life is because you are not focused. You are jumping from man, one prick to another. Prickilina. Prickilina. In a fiali. Prickilina. You are jumping. That's why you are never successful. You are not focused. But if you're focused, you're going to see the best part. Don't ever think that you being faithful is for a man. Or you being faithful is for a woman. No, it is a discipline that you inculcate in yourself even before marriage. 
So anybody that is telling you, I, I used to be a bad girl, but I changed for you, that one I lie you. Make you see opportunity. So the first is the repentance starts from yourself before you move to the next person. So this fidelity thing, we need to inculcate it in ourselves. What is fidelity? Stay in one place. Pion, 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 pion. What have you achieved? Nothing. House, you know, get. Moto, you know, get. You see the squad for a joker house. Upon all your pion, 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 in a pure alley. The only thing you have is Brazilian hair. Fiber for that matter, not even the original one. With your long, long eyelashes like Obanje. You won't sit in one place. In a pure labor, in a irresponsible Gen Z bodies. Anyway, the phone lines is still up. If you have one or two things you want to tell the woman, the adulterous woman who um, slept, who is sleeping with her husband, that driver should come now. She's still now. Hello. 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 Good evening. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Can you hear yeah, me? Yeah, good evening. Hello. How are you? It's Miss Vivian. What? Okay, you want to contribute to the show, ma'am? Yeah, my contribution. Hello. Yeah, yeah I can hear you. My contribution. I want to advise to the woman. Okay. Yes, I want to contribute. Go ahead and contribute. I want to advise the woman. Advise her. Hello. Go ahead. I can hear you, darling. I think we lost the caller. So please, when you're calling, turn down the volume of your TV so that we can hear you. Turn down the volume of your TV so that we can hear you. We have another caller. Hello. Hello. Good evening, ma'am. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello. Good evening, ma'am. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Vivian. Okay, Vivian, you want to and contribute to the show? I'm for Lambe. Go ahead. You know, like what the other lady just said now, like where I come from, that thing is an abomination. Mm. Where are you from? Like, like it killed, it killed one of my uncle. Where? What of the, was, which which the of the tribe? was sleeping around. Which of the tribe? <laughs> Hello? Which of the tribe? Hello, can you hear me? Which of the tribe? Edo, Edo State. Edo State, okay. So it killed my uncle. My uncle never told them that this was what the wife did. So he had to kill the chicken and eat it himself. At the end of the day, the woman still keeps cooking for him. That was how he lost his life. Hmm. So in my side, it's an abomination, but it still exists, so... So that's my contribution. So I don't know about the woman, where she came from, and what they forbid here. But that's my contribution to us, what happened to her. Thank you. All right, ma'am. Thank you so much. This beautiful lady actually said that there are some places in Nigeria where we still have cultures where if you get to commit, you know, sleep around, there are repercussions. I've heard this. I do. I've heard it in a soca, but I've not really been a victim of it. I know there are some traditions that actually work. But for me, you don't even need any tradition to discipline yourself. But discipline. There's nothing happening outside. Now, it's also Igbo, Kolos, where the people, now they are food, they are robbers. Stay in your house. When you are alone, you become creative. A lot of you look at us today. Every beautiful thing that you see are people who sat by themselves. It is when you stay by yourself that your real mind begins to play. Remember the Bible said, I, was, I made you out of my own image. You are like God. A lot of you have not gotten to your point of your life because of waka waka. James Bond. Onyeje. From keke na pep to koroko bus, from koroko bus to kedop, from drop, you are dropping from one Camry to Corolla, from Corolla to GLK. That's the reason why you have failed. When you understand the power of being by yourself, you will see the magic that you can create. I don't know what you are looking for outside. 
It's because there's nothing outside. The last time I went outside, I felt sick. I did not smoke, I did not drink. All the shisha and all the smoke, they put on for my body. Only let me go club, only let me smoke, sh only let me hate shisha, only let me go hospital. There is nothing outside. Let's put our heads. It's only when we get good men and good women. They are rare. You know, there are some people who actually come to my office for counseling and I'm like, you have a good man. Men, the good men are all these Gen Z buddies that you're seeing. The old jam with Jago. The only thing they have is prick. Parading up and down with prick. That's the only thing they have. If you, if you can give them accommodation, give them food, leave the rest. If you want them to eat you morning, afternoon, and night, they will eat you breakfast and supper. They're full Lagos roaming about. All they need is shelter. But as a woman, you should be focused. You should have big dreams. You shouldn't undermine yourself to that level. I used to tell people, I did not work this hard to settle for an idiot. If I want to settle for an idiot, I will not go to school. I will be an idiot like him so that we can meet in the idiotic. I cannot get to this level. I'm settled with an idiot. So I'm going to tell the beautiful woman, it's time to go back to the drawing board and retrace yourself. Nobody's going to blame you. Even me, where they speak English for you, I understand temptation. And you know, when you've been dick matter, that man where you even sleep with the driver, we don't even know how good he is in bed. Because the truth about this, let me even whisper this one. Men, please shift your ear. Women, the truth about it is, when you meet a man that is good in bed, it's hard to. It's hard to. This all of us just sit down here, they form scent. They form, let's say, it's hard. But you can resist it. And that is always my slogan. Do not spend an evening where you know you will not spend the night. There is nothing like nobody can influence me. Nobody can influence me. Nobody in Nobody can madam avoid it. Nobody can influence me. Maybe driver don't carry you go market. You go stand for front seat. You begin ask driver a personal question. Nobody can influence you. These things can be avoided. If you don't spend an evening where you not spend the night. Anybody can be influenced, so it is better avoided. And I'm going to also tell you guys something. It is not everything that you must do. No, be every sin where come this world you go commit. Choose the one where you want to commit. Threesome, you did here. Orgy party, you did here. Adultery, you did here. All the things where this way. Ah, you want me God say judge your matter. Choose one now. You put color the whole sin. Even the 70 times, seven times, you have exhausted your own. It's for the going to be borrowing from us. Women, it's becoming an eyesore because most of the stories we're having on the show is disgracing. I was even thinking that men would, ah, ah, women, no, now. You can't be letting an account cheat past the men. Let's see the apple. Please, please, let's put ourselves together. If you know you're not ready for marriage, don't let society pressure you because I feel it's a bigger shame to leave marriage with infidelity. I'd rather live with my dignity and my honor. When the marriage is not working, I can see my ex today, I can see my ex more and wave hand, than we live in that, you know, infidelity, I catch you, I don't catch you. You know, it hurts men. Men, ah, it kills them. It kills them inside. So women, I beg, I beg, hold your quickness, close your leg, use cutting, we'll shook inside that place. Eh? Some of you say, my husband cannot satisfy me. Yes, my husband cannot satisfy Well, you didn't you know he could not satisfy you before you married him. If he cannot satisfy you, buy a sex toy now. You, 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 you use the other means. And with you, other means. It's not everything I'll be telling you on this show. I hope all the children have gone to sleep. Your husband is not good in bed. A man, we go from mainland, if we go to island for work, if we enter bus, come back, and he wants you to come and stay on top of you for one hour, tomorrow morning he will go again. Madam, don't you have conscience? Allow the man to sleep. He did not come to marriage to come and be knocking. Marriage is filled with responsibility. And let me also tell you one thing, married men. Come closer. Bianco, are you close? Marriage reduces a man's sexual libido. I will repeat myself again. Marriage reduces a man's sexual libido. How? Responsibility. When you are dating your boyfriend, you who can be knocking morning, afternoon, night, you enter kitchen, you tap in and she knock, knock. Once you people marry, extended family, overextended family, 
children, responsibility becomes more. Don't think that you are going to marriage to go and knock. Not like you. A lot of married couple can stay three months. They will not touch one another. So that's why you said, hey, um, knock the whole knock. You think marriage is where you want to go and be doing Z-word. You'll be chasing you around this. They tell him, man, that, my sister, you are waiting for breakfast in bed. You will wake up by 5.30 a.m. and carry your children for school run. This is reality, yo. Leave Nigeria movie, yo. My sister. So if you are waiting for a man that will come and last on you for one hour when he marries you, my sister, you're on, except in the smoke, Igbo, or in the smoke color. So get, which one be that when they say that they leak? Sweetie. Get one where they say if you leak. I mean, a boy, a pinky, because sweetie, I mean, if you leak it, I want to make it paka, 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 paka. Except it's taken by gra. But a man who works 24 hours, let's assume your husband is a banker. Let's assume he's living on the mainland. He wakes up as early as 5, and his workplace is on the island, drives from 5 o'clock from mainland to the island, and come back in the night. I want to come and spend one hour on you. You want to kill somebody's child. He'll be rushing to his pillow. You are not going to marriage to fuck. I used to say something. I'm going to make it very raw. Once you get married, you talk more than you fuck. The 24 hours in a day, you spend it talking than knocking. Why do our marriages break these days? It's because there's no communication. Even when people are making love, this one will throw face here. They have to be coming. Without communication, there's no marriage. So if you know you don't know, some men will tell you I'm not a talking, if I'm not a talking type, or God, enter one side, don't disturb us. Marriage is about talking. What is the talking? I am trying to understand where you're coming from. We are coming from two different backgrounds. The both of us might even be traumatic. I am coming from my own trauma. You are coming from your own trauma. Trauma, jump tra trauma. It becomes buzz boost. But when we talk about this and understand it, we will now say, okay, we are coming from this trauma and we did not enjoy it. Let us give our children a better life. So remember I said, you talk more than you fuck in marriage. So go and start talking to your spouse. It is lack of communication that make you to start to sleep with driver, houseboy. Go home and go and communicate with your husband. I will see you next time, same station, 10 p.m., the same time. We remember moments with blessings. See you. Hmm? I will see you next time. We are going to go, go home and talk to your husband. My husband is not a talking type, but he's talking to side chick. Go home and talk to your man. He's not a talking type. You pray with him. I wish you all the best. I love you guys and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. See you guys next week. <laughs>